Well, Bitcoin's record rally showing no signs of slowing down, now topping $72,000 for the first time ever. Yahoo Finance's Jared Blickery is here with a breakdown. You know, people who've been holding on for dear life, just, just rubbing their hands here. Happy to see this. <laughs> I've had a lot of people call me saying, should I sell? Because I am now break even and I have not, I've been bullish and I remain bullish. Um, we don't even have 100,000 in the sites yet. We'll get to, some, get to some technical analysis in a minute, but I want to show what's happening with the spot Bitcoin ETF. ETFs, uh, many of which were launched only, only earlier this year, except for the Grayscale one, which converted to an ETF from an ETN. It is the by and far the uh, largest, it has $27.4 billion in assets. Number two, though, and three, closely on its heels, we have IBIT, that is the iShares offering there. That's $13.6 billion in size, and then $8.6 billion for the Fidelity offering. In a distant fourth place, we have ARC, that's $2.6 billion, and then a number of other contenders, which when you add them up are not that much bigger than ARC. Another interesting phenomenon going on, if you survey the entire uh, universe of US ETFs and you look at the uh, inflows that they've gotten year to date, we now have two candidates here, two Bitcoin ETFs among the top five, and that is huge. So you take a look at VOO, IVV. Those are the Vanguard and iShares uh, S&P 500 offerings. You take a look at VTI, that's core all total, uh, total uh, market, uh, total market US. Anyway, these are very passive uh, investment vehicles here. So for IBIT, which is iShares to pull in $10 billion uh, is just a phenomenal leap here. And Eric Baltunas over at Bloomberg, along with James Seifert, have been calling this uh, the greatest launch of a, a new asset class ETF in, in forever. So here we have Tesla. I'm actually looking for Bitcoin. And here we should have our heat map. And there we go. Bitcoin up 4%. We have now eclipsed those highs, those record highs. And so we're in uncharted territory. We had a huge reaction off of 68,000. That was the uh, former test and then break of the record high. But now it's off to the races. And one of the things I find interesting is the rise of these other these other coins, the altcoins, which have really lagged. There's Binance. This is over the last seven, seven days. Binance up 31%. Algo 25%. Litecoin, haven't seen that in forever. Topping our leaderboard, that is up 19%. And those are all outshining the big guys, Bitcoin and Ethereum. And so that's really what it takes for a healthy ra uh, rally. You need breadth.